everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. This video will be a piano tutorial for Radiohead's Climbing Up the Walls. So, I always do uh, chords and melody and then talk about some of the rhythms and some of the ideas I'm using um, to create my arrangement. So, uh, like I always say, let's get right into it. Let's see here. Uh, introduction. I'll just talk about the chords first and then I'll talk about kind of what I did. So um, there's three chords of the introduction. It's like this B minor, G major, and then E minor. So they're really basic triads, right? And then so what I did, I started modifying it. So I added like like that ninth in there. You can maybe it gets a little too pretty there. Let's see here. Add that C sharp in there for the, excuse me. I said ninth, but excuse me, seventh, I misspoke. The ninth is the C sharp. So you add the seventh in there, the A natural, the ninth, the C sharp. Um, some other voicings, you like s stretch out a little bit and spread out. Still a B7, and now we have the E natural in there. Um, creating some like crushing sounds. But what I did at first is I just kind of hung out with the rhythm on the B minor. Three, four, and um, you know, kind of this kind of like bum ba ba bum bum bum, kind of that feeling of kind of like driving that beat. I'm emphasizing it there a little bit more. So before I got into the three chord pattern, I had already kind of like established the tone and the pulse of the piece just by repeating the B minor. So if that makes sense or not, I would encourage you to go and watch my video to kind of see some of the voicings I did. Um, you know, when I create these arrangements, I'll set the camera up and just kind of let it run until I get a take that I really like. So I'll, I'll give you some of my ideas here. Like here's a voicing I might use, or, or maybe I didn't use it in my version. Again, I'll take I'll take some of the ideas. So like if I've taken this this shape in my right hand over the B minor, does that work over G as well? So I know I'm stretching out that left hand a little bit there. And then it is can I use that again over the E minor? You know, and it does kind of work. So we're creating at least what I wanted to create in my arrangement was this like kind of mysterious kind of feeling. So just some of those voicing ideas, you know, just start with the basic triad, try adding in like a ninth or a second, um, you know, just adding a sixth in there. It, it makes that kind of sound. See what it sounds like if you stretch out, um, instead of having the, the F sharp down here, you put it up here. There's that sound versus that sound versus that sound doubling the E. I hope I'm not going on too much of a tangent here, but my point is, you know, try adding or subtracting notes to like create the uh, the sound that you're looking for. So, anyway, introduction, <laughs> three chords. Sorry about that. I, uh, I, I kind of feel like I'm babbling a little bit, but I do want you to get that idea of like, you know, what I do as I sit down. Okay, so I know my first chord is B minor. Um, okay, let me first add the seventh and see what that sounds like. Let me add the ninth. Let me take things out. Let me layer different chords and see what kind of sounds I can come up with. And that's how I create my version. So, um, those same chords are going to be used for the verses. Kind of a stretch there. One of the voicings I used, I kind of liked that sound in, in, the, in the inside of the chord. So we're doing that pattern, B minor, G, E, E minor. Adding some notes here to add a little bit of uh, color. But all playing around with that B minor, G, E minor sound. And then you kind of hang around in the E minor chord here. Do the verse again. Maybe adding a little bit more rhythm in my left hand, doing that crossover. And then we 
come to the chorus. The chorus will be E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, back to E minor. I'll kind of talk about that as I go. Melody comes up here. You could also play it as like a D over F sharp. Excuse me. So it goes to that higher B the last time on, on the chord progression. Then we come to another verse again. Again, I'm messing around with that E minor a little bit. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba. Kind of thinking of that rhythm in the back as like a pulse inside, like, and I'm trying to like bring it out into the notes I'm playing. And I'm not always playing the pulse every single time. Like, I'm not outlining the beats or the pulse the whole time, but I'm using it like it's like in the back of my mind the whole time. So we have a verse again. Notice the melody, if you listen to the recording, goes up a little bit. Sorry, I jumped to the E minor, e minor there. Play around with, those mel with the melody notes a little bit to kind of get the feel of what they're doing recording. You have a chorus again. It's big, it's kind of like a, it's like instrumental over the chords from the verses. Then it's instrumental continu continuing over the chords from the chorus. Have that line so again I'm just playing around kind of the, that like got the sixth in there the minor adding the F sharp you can put those crunchy notes in the middle there but just kind of like creating that emotion and that energy, uh, the same energy and emotion that I felt from the recording onto the piano. So adding more notes is kind of how I did that. And then that bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum. Another thing I will do is kind of like allude to the different chords, right? So our chords in the introduction, B minor, G major, E minor, right? So even though I'm playing an E minor chord, I might allude to a B minor. You know, right? So like, yes, you got an E in the bass, but then this is basically a B minor chord, right? Because a lot of those notes overlap. So that's one of the things I'll do too, to kind of like uh, connect connect everything together. Um, the chorus I made a little bit different. Um, in the recording, I think there's like that da 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 dum, kind of like that rhythm, uh, maybe in like strings or something. I'm just kind of like making it flow a little more. Let's see here. And some of the 
techniques there, just adding some of those moving notes in there kind of help change it from the kind of that rhythm of the verses to kind of separate those and separate the, the rhythmic ideas there. But that's really what I was thinking about. Um, the chords and melody I was thinking about when I improvised my version. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. This was a cool one to learn. I'm, I'm going through and uh, I'm almost done with arrangements for OK Computer on the piano. And uh, when I'm done, I'll go ahead and put everything together into a playlist for everybody. And uh, yeah, it'll just kind of be a place to look for it all. At least you can get kind of like my versions and learn how to play them as as uh, as played by me, at least. So I hope sharing this here is helpful for you. But uh, thank you for watching. Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And again, yeah, leave me any qu questions or comments and I'll try to get back to you. Um, but I will catch everybody next time.